once again. It's Peter Graves at Craftsbury. We want to sit down and talk just a couple of minutes with Sadie Bjornsson, uh, who finished second today in a, an incredible 30K race, a sprint to, at the finish line over all that distance. Tell me a little bit about today's race, Sadie. Um, well, it definitely, it was hot from the start. Jesse was going for that bonus, and so right away from the start, we took it out hard, and from there, we kind of just, we enjoyed ourselves throughout the course. Um, not to be fooled, we were not going easy. We were still pushing each other and um, switching leads and just, uh, you know, trying to make sure that we were staying ahead, and I think Jesse and I were both developing a plan for the final lap throughout the course where we were going to attack on each other, and um, so I tried to make my attack down on the hill but couldn't couldn't get rid of her so then she took over and she tried to make her attack there on the far corner and she couldn't get rid of me so then um, it ended up coming down to the final finish line uh, sprint which uh, it was quite close and so I definitely you know I had a ton of fun out there today and I think my favorite part about today was that there was so much cheering that I really felt like I was out there at a World Cup today. Awesome. Um, except Lucky for everyone girl. was cheering for us which that doesn't always happen so it was like a home course advantage kind of World Cup. <laughs> yeah I mean I really know because I've talked to a lot of you how tired and kind of you know, a little bit wasted everybody is from the rigors of the season. So it was to me equally impressive that uh, you guys uh, found the wherewithal to um, to really kind of duke it out like that. I mean, I guess you have to put pain and fatigue aside a little bit. Yeah, I think Jesse and I were trying to get rid of any feelings that we had, any voices in our heads screaming, I'm so tired, and kind of just enjoy enjoy the final race of the season. Um, somebody screamed at the top of the final climb, this is your last two kilometers of the year, and just, you know, things like that really encourage you to just keep pushing, pushing to the end, despite feeling just so mentally tired from a long season, and that's when you rely on your muscles to carry you to the finish line. <laughs> Sadie, you had a really strong season and um, um, with some great World Cup results. And now, what uh, uh, what do you see looking forward a little bit? Now, I know I'm sure you're going to go. I think you're going home for a while and take a break. But uh, what do you what do you see? Is it too early to say how you you? want to go towards next season? Um, you know, this is definitely the most motivated I've ever been coming out of a season. Um, it's funny because I started on a huge high with my first podium in the first weekend of World Cups, um, and that kind of just set a mood for the season for me, and suddenly I believed in myself and I I, I saw something that I had never seen before. Um, and then, you know, I had some swings through the season, I had some high moments, and the Olympics were really hard for me and not what I wanted. And to have to kind of re-dig myself out of a hole and continue believing and then to finish on a high again achieving a podium in a in a tour event and a skate skiing mm, you know yes. like that is so it's so cool because I've left the season with the same kind of belief and motivation that I started it with and I you know I feel like I can make a huge step next year just figuring out a few more things this summer and continuing to work uh, the way that I am and it's cool because we have Jesse and Sophie and and Keegan and some girls on our team that just make you believe that anything is possible and you know, you know Jessie in particular this year um, she's on podiums every single race every weekend and I feel like I can achieve that level and to have somebody right there you know to show that it's possible I, I can associate myself with that and I can see myself doing that and so it's just it's a really cool time and I feel so motivated for this summer to work on some specific things and see what I can do next year. Well, you did have a wonderful season, and and your brother has come so far, and and uh, you know I think just knocking at the door is some really big things. Yeah, it's it's hard for the men on our team because they're making the steps that we were making uh, maybe two or three years ago, and you don't they don't get as much uh, attention for it. Um, but I think that they sort of have a belief among the boys right now that they are gonna, they're kind of the dark horses and they're gonna, they're gonna show that they can do it too. And it's so cool, you know, like watching my brother in that team sprint at the Olympics, just sprinting out with the best distance and sprinters in the Indeed, world yeah. and keeping up. It's like those are the things that are so incredible to see and I think as soon as he discovers, you know, part of being the best in the world is believing it inside of you. And it's hard to get to that point. It took me a long time to stand mm -hmm. on the line and, and believe that I could fight for a podium. And I think Eric and some of the other boys on the team, as soon as they discover that, they're going to be at an even higher level than us. And I just I get so excited thinking about it. And I hope that that 
comes around in the next couple of years, and I totally believe it will. You're a good sister. <laughs> Thank you for being uh, just so wonderful, wonderful with the kids, always giving an interview and smiling, and we're so happy that uh, you had the season you had. Thank we you, wish Peter. you very well. Thank you. <laughs> so a uh, wonderful opportunity to chat with Sadie Bjornsson here at the Super Tour Finals. I'm Peter Graves. Thanks for watching.